Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Lernea Hydra, the serpent-like monster with the nine heads. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. The Hydra, aka Lernea Hydra, was an ancient serpent-like water beast with reptilian traits that possessed many heads. The poets mentioned more heads than the fast painters could paint, and for each head cut off, it grew to more. It also had poisonous breath and blood so virulent, even its tracks were deadly. Hydra is an ancient Greek mythical beast that was mentioned in the tale of the twelve labors of Heracles, also called Hercules. The Hydra has many heads, possibly seven, eight or nine. The number of heads varies from different versions of the legend. However, more accounts agree on nine. It was said that the middle one was immortal and it had very poisonous venom and breath. If the heads are cut off, the heads would grow back. One head cut off would result to two heads growing back in its place. The Hydra was believed to have lived in the Lernaean Marsh, which is located near Argolis, the region around Argos, Greece. Others say that the Hydra lived in cave in the swamp of Lerna. The serpent woman Echidna and the hundred-headed typhoon are Hydra's parents. His siblings include the Nemean lion, Kerberos, Chimera and Ladon. The Hydra guards the entrance of the underworld and from the murky swamps of the lake of Lerna the monstrous serpent would rise and terrorize the city. The Hydra was finally killed by Heracles during his second labor. The Hydra was said to have the body of a dragon snake with many heads, possibly seven, eight or nine, two arms and legs with knife-like claws, sharp spine spikes and long serpent tail. The second labor of Heracles. Evristheus, king of Tyrrhenes, sent the demigod Heracles to slay the Lernaea Hydra as the second of the set of labors that the hero had to complete, in order to redeem himself for killing his wife Megara and his children in a fit of madness. Accompanied by his trusty nephew Eolaus, Hercules set off to hunt the nine-headed monster. They went to the springs of Amimone and discovered the lair of the menacing beast. When Heracles reached the lake Lerna, he had to cover his nose and mouth with a cloth in order to protect himself from poisonous gases that were emitted. Hercules lured the creature out of its den by shooting it with flaming arrows. After he managed to lure the monster out of its lair, Heracles quickly cut one of his heads off, only to realize in despair that two new heads had grown. When the beastly creature emerged, the Greek mythical hero seized it, but the monster wound one of its coils to Heracles' foot. With one of his foot stuck, Heracles tried to break free by smashing the monster's head, but as soon as he cut one, two more heads would appear on its place. So, he decided to ask for help of his nephew Iolaus, who thought of using fire to cauterize the stump as soon as the head is cut off. So they made a plan. Heracles would cut off the heads and Iolaus would burn the wound with a firebrand. As a result, they both quickly started winning the battle. Hera, who had raised the monster specifically to kill Heracles, sent a giant crab in aid of the Hydra, and the huge crab began biting Heracles' trapped foot to add nonsense. The hero though crushed it under his giant foot, or smashed it with his club. The final head of the Hydra was immortal, and Heracles managed to destroy it by using a golden sword that the goddess Athena had offered him. Finally, the Hydra was slain and Heracles' second task was done. After the Hydra was defeated, Heracles soaked the tip of his arrows in its venomous blood while both monsters, the Hydra and Cancer, were made into a constellation by the grieving Hera. Let us finish with the following saying. Analyze the unknown based on the known, Solon. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.